if I may start by um, just paying a tribute to Vuyam Buli from the Direct Selling Association. We would like to pass on our condolences um, at his untimely passing. And I think say, hey uh, umfuetu, sizo unkumbula. Oh, shop, thank shop. you, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, thank you mm. for that. Okay, so 92 million people worldwide. Uh, I believe it's 1.3 million people in South Africa above that that are involved in direct selling. That is correct, Peter. Oh. About uh, 1.3, almost 1.4 million people involved yeah. in the industry locally. All right, so you did a survey every year on uh, just the fortunes of uh, the association. What, what results came up? Um, it's uh, terrific, uh, Peter, that in a time of recession, the direct selling industry mm -hmm. continues to grow uh, almost at a rate of about 10% mm -hmm. uh, because the industry, aside from uh, uh, providing job opportunities for 1.4 million people, mm -hmm. um, also generated sales of nearly 9 billion rand. And of the 9 billion, 4 billion rand was paid back to the consultants in the industry. So wow. it's a great earning opportunity wow. and a great job creation opportunity. So who are you finding is mostly involved in direct selling and um, what sort of products? The, the wonderful thing is I've been in the industry for 20 years and yeah. I'm not sure why everybody isn't involved in direct selling yeah. <laughs> because what the industry does is it formalizes the informal sector. Yeah. We know that over the last two years, two million people lost yeah. their jobs in the formal sector and what the direct selling industry does yeah. is it creates job opportunities for everybody, irrespective of your race, your color, yeah. your creed, your gender, yeah. your level of education. The industry takes any person who would like to earn additional income, right. brings them into the industry and gives them that opportunity. <laughs> All right. So, but it's mostly women, isn't it, for some it is, reason? Uh, it is. It is. 86% women, 14% men, but we're seeing that trend change yeah. as more and more people find that they cannot find jobs in the formal sector. Yeah. They rely more and more on jobs in the informal sector. And uh, just to answer your question, yeah. um, there are two critical components yeah. around the product and around the opportunity. The one issue is the products yeah. must make a difference in the lives of people and at a right. local level. They are world standard. Okay. So the product and the product benefits is the first uh, element. The second element is the fact that it creates a business opportunity, giving people indirect income, income right. that they get when they themselves are not working, right. that right. can make them financially independent and put them in their own businesses okay. at Let's low risk and low investment. A lot of people are probably thinking, how do we get involved? Uh, tell us a little bit of how they can do that. Um, what they can do is uh, the Direct Selling Association has 36 companies in it at this stage. And I would say to anybody watching today, don't join a company that isn't a member of the Direct right. Selling Association because that is where you get your guarantee of ethics yeah. and uh, proper business operation. And all they can do is they can contact the DSA yeah. who will provide them with a list of members and yeah. they simply apply to any of those members to become consultants or independent distributors. And uh, these members, are they sort of under some kind of rules so that people feel safe? Absolutely. Yeah. The Direct Selling Association is a self-regulating body and what we do is we have ethics and standards that have been established there um, over the last uh, 40 years and uh, everybody has got to comply yeah. with that. And if there's anybody involved with the direct selling company where they feel that uh, the operation has not been ethical, they can approach us and yeah. we will address that issue immediately. How many members do you have at the moment? Uh, 36 companies right, who so are part of uh, the association. And it's a wide range of products, I would imagine. So um, you you've can got choose everything the kind of thing that uh, grabs you. Absolutely. Beauty products, health products, uh, household goods, yeah. across the board, anything that you really enjoy selling. But we've seen that the beauty and the health industries um, have never stopped growing since the Second World War, particularly. Right. So there's a great opportunity to sell in an okay. industry that's growing. All right. Well, let's talk about, uh, just before we go, I guess you talked about the website address. What is it? Uh, www.dsa.co.za. All right. Ernest, thank you very much indeed. And uh, well done on this uh, growing industry. Great opportunities. Ernest Detroit, thank you for your time. Thank you very much, Peter. appreciate that. All right. Thank sorry. you.